But I've got a lot of slides <clears throat> because I'm talking about nutrition and it's a huge field. And I'm going to go through this quickly <laughs> in order to get through all this. So they asked me to answer a few questions. So what conditions respond to nutrition? Well, that's the answer. Because what nutrition does is basically just fills in the things you lack. The goal is to get you functioning as much as possible. Get you as healthy as we can. So what factors affect our nutritional status? And I'm kind of simple about things, so I break it down to real basics. Foods and toxins. So let's look at the food part. Because when you look at the food sources from 1945 to today, this is what happens. Sharp decline in our nutritional content of foods, mainly due to modern farming practices. Organically grown foods are consistently better. Here's where eating well pays off. Decreased dementia, and dementia is increasing dramatically. Almost two-thirds of kids placed on a, what I would call a decent diet, had elimination of their ADD symptoms. And when they returned to the original diet, that is the one they had before they got the good diet, all their symptoms came back. Now let's look at some of the toxins. So we're looking at mercury. Highly neurotoxic, meaning it affects brain and nerves, especially if you're a kid. So the way that the cells damage is by mercury destroying or depleting this nutrient inside the cell. But if you know you're going to get whacked with mercury, you can pretreat with glutathione or another one called NAC. And when you did that, you prevent the damage from the mercury. This is one I think this is one of the most frightening slides you'll probably ever read. And it was for me. They did a study in every single baby at birth had on average 200 toxic agents in their body. We are born sick and toxic already. So let's look at what we can do about some of this stuff. Fortunately, nutrition can modulate the toxicity of environmental pollutants, meaning we can do something about this. Nutrient levels directly correlate it with overall levels of health and disease. So. If you ain't got the nutrients, you ain't healthy. End of story. Many agents are effective in cancer. So you consistently see a 30 to 50% reduction in colon cancer with B6 alone. Vitamins and minerals are more effective than antidepressants. Nutritional status is one of those critical factors. Risk of cardiovascular disease and death greatly reduced in those taking supplements. Niacin works better than statins for cardiovascular disease. If you were to supplement with vitamin C, you'd save about a quarter of a million deaths every year. That's a pretty big number. How much does 500 milligrams of vitamin C cost? Magnesium, it alone decreases insulin resistance, improves blood sugar levels, and decreases your rate of development of diabetes by half. Vitamin D help reverse the abnormalities found in Alzheimer's. And you always see some warnings about, I'll oh, be careful about supplements. And this is kind of what it boils down to. Is this vitamin bashing or bad science? Because the real data shows no deaths from supplements in the last 27 years. So you compare roughly 3 million deaths from drugs with zero deaths from supplements. I'm not a mathematician, but I can see where the risk lies.